Hey there everyone, my name is Namfam and what I'm going to do next is install the video transmitter. So here is the video transmitter, the VTX. It is an Eosheen TX805 and uh, yeah, it's a pretty basic one and it has smart audio. So you'll see here are the wires for it. It has smart, which is the smart audio, which allows you to control the v uh, video transmitter settings via the flight controller through your goggles. Uh, it also has a 5 volt here for the camera that you usually may connect to the transmitter and also the ground as well for the camera. We won't be using these two so we'll be cutting them off. Here's the video in that comes from the flight controller into the transmitter to send out the signal and also the power to the video transmitter as well. So there we go. We do have, and it comes in a box, uh, this um, antenna. And I won't be using this because it's not going to be uh, great in terms of reception, but I do like to use this when I'm building the quadcopter just so I don't forget to plug it in. Now the reason is because if you power up a video transmitter without an antenna connected, what would happen is it will heat up the transmitter quite a lot and destroy it or possibly damage it. So um, I like to just plug it in just so I don't forget because I always I'm forgetful and I'd like to just be sure that things are uh, safe so there you go so I did say that I'm going to cut these two wires here which is for a camera if you're connecting a camera directly to the video transmitter in this case we're not we're going to be connecting it from the flight controller so we'll just cut it off so using these angle cutters I'm just gonna snip it from behind here there and that one there all right so put them aside so these are the four wires that we'll be wiring up to the flight controller so here is the diagram again of the flight controller and so you'll see on the left hand side there is the video transmitter and there's the four wires that we'll need to wire up so the first one being the ground wire the second one being the power wire the third one being the video in and the uh, fourth one, the smart audio. Um, firstly, I'll be mounting the video transmitter onto the frame. What I've got here is actually a 3D printed part. Now I've designed this. I went through a few iterations to get to this, but the video transmitter has 30.5 millimeter mounting holes here. But the problem is it's not center to the frame. So you'll see that if you put it on here where the in the back where the uh, video tr transmitter can go, it's going to be offset from the center. So I'm kind of a perfectionist and also want to have it in the middle here so that it uh, has less chance of being damaged in a crash. So I'm going to be mounting it like that. In fact, it will be mounted upside down like this using the mount that I've printed. So. This mount here, I'll put the uh, STL in the description below in a Google Drive, so you can download it and print it for yourself. All right, so the way that this mount works, get the frame out of the way, is that it will be mounted upside down this way. And I've made it so that there's a clearance of about one millimeter from the frame. And what that allows is also that the frame has these holes here in the frame that will let air flow through, which will cool down the video transmitter. So we'll get this onto the, the mount that I printed. So there you go. And that would be quite neat. And what this is would be making the video transmitter offset from the 30.5 millimeter mounting holes. So once that's in, we can get this onto the frame. So I've designed this to be 30.5 there and 30.5 there. So it's a perfect size that will fit in here. And we're going like that. So it's quite neat. It creates a bit of a platform here as well, which is where I'll be installing the 
our radio receiver as well. Um, so now we'll get these on. So these are M3 screws. I don't have the black ones with the hex um, uh, driver button uh, with the right length. So I'm just going to use these that I grabbed from the local hardware store. So they are a bit heavier than the usual ones that we use, but it is what I have on hand. So the wires for these would have to come over here, over the board and onto the pads. Uh, and I'll show you again where the pads need to go. I'll get this out of the way. So on the flight controller, I'll turn it this way so we can read it a bit better. On the flight controller, you'll see here, there is the uh, video out. There's a power here that supplies power to the video transmitter, the ground, and also for smart audio, we'll be wiring it up to TX3 here. So that's a UART port. So that's where the wires will go. But before we do the wiring, same with the camera, we do have the um, uh, regulators here for power. It's actually not a regulator power here for the right hand side. So these three pads here. The right pad here is BAT, so that's the battery power straight from the battery. And then on the left hand side here, it's nine volts. And bridging these two will provide nine volts to this pad here. So we'll use the nine volt because it's regulated. It will be a cleaner signal or cleaner power supply. And that would make it just a bit better for our video transmission signal. So I'll get this camera back in. Don't really need it there. In fact, I'll probably unplug it for now. Get that out of the way. We can plug that back in later. All right, so we will now start soldering and I'll solder the, uh, the bridge for nine volts. Um, and that would, that would be, that would help. I'm just getting a bit of flux now to put on these pads here because it helps greatly with getting a good solder joint. So I'm just putting on the flux on all of that there. And I'm going to put solder on to all of them. And also I'll, I'll bridge that as well. The nine volt regulator pad. So here. I'll add a bit of solder there. And a bit of solder on that one as well in the middle and it should bridge. That's a nice clean bridge there. I'll add solder to the pads as well. So we'll go on this side for ground. There you go. I'll add a bit more. And this one, I'll add a bit more on that one as well. This is a video out signal to the video transmitter and this is a smart audio so adding solder to that one there great okay so now that we have those pads tinned these wires here for the for the video transmitter are already stripped for those two and I think I might trim them. Mm. Yeah, I'll trim them slightly and then retin them. So I'll just make them a bit shorter so that they are neater. Use the reverse action tweezers to hold them where I need them. Just there will do and give it a bit of solder. So now that they're tinned, the furthest wire here on the right is the ground wire. So I'll try and get these out of the way so I can do a clean solder and so this one go, can go in here and I'm going to try and get the wire actually 
a bit over and across like that very very tight but hopefully I can get this done so here we go that's the ground wire GND just to be sure and soldering that one on actually before I do I'll add a bit more flux because it just makes it a whole lot nicer and much better joins using the flux right. so holding that there just give it some time because this is the ground one and it's going to take some time to heat up the pad and it should solder on nice and clean all right so that one's on just enough wire there so that's good and there we go all right so now that we have the video transmitter soldered on and or mounted as well and also we have the antenna on just don't forget that we can test it out and power it up okay so we do have the smoke stop here the Vifly smart smoke stopper too so we can plug that in and get a battery and plug it in now before we do, just uh, double check everything. We got the ground wire with black there, power with the red, the um, yellow for the video out signal to go into the video transmitter, and also TX3 to the green wire, which is the smart audio. So I'm just gonna plug it in now, as I was going to do. And it goes into standby mode, and I'm gonna power it up, but gonna be a bit different this time around you'll see so let's go ahead and power it up and you can see it automatically just shut off so does that mean we have a short not always so this smart smoke stopper by vfly vfly is that it has a one amp limit so if there's anything in the circuitry that's drawing uh, more than one amp it will automatically cut off but it does have an option and another button here to actually change it to be two amps so if anything is drawing more than um, one amp between one amp to two amps it will allow that to happen so a video transmitter is going to draw a fair bit more current than just the um, ESCs without running the motors and the flight controller it's pulling a bit more power so what we can do is reset it and try and test it. And I, I don't know if this is actually going to work. So the button here, if you look on the back, there's some instructions. Pressing that button turns a blue light on, which tells it tells me that it will be in the two amp current threshold setting. So pressing that there, it goes blue. And let's see if it works. I'm not actually sure. So let's see, three, two, one. Hey, it worked. So it powered up, uh, which means the video transmitter is drawing more than one amp, but less than two amps in its normal state. And uh, you can, I can see that it's actually lit up as well. I don't know if you can see that. There's a bit of blue and red lights being lit up there. If I look underneath it, and if I can turn it this way, you'll see there. And that's telling me that the video transmitter is powered on. So that's all working nicely now and all powered up no issues smart smoker did its job and um, sorry smart smoker uh, smoke stopper did its job so yeah there's the video transmitter installed um, has the antenna in here the mount again the STL is also uh, in the description as well um, any comments or questions please leave it in the descriptions all the 
parts here will be in linked in the description as well and uh yeah i hope you enjoyed that or learned something and cheers thanks for listening